Look out, footy's back. Welcome to AFLW Today, your new one-stop shop for all things AFLW. I'm your host, Alex Donnelly, as we dive into, we're just calling it week five, because there's a lot of footy on this week. It is week five, the AFLW. As always, I am joined in a different jacket once again. I reckon we can get through all 30 episodes with 30 jackets this year. It's Bryony Dawson. Looks good. This is actually more of a shirt. Or a, 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 li- a, li- a, a shacket. There we go. A shacket, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. there's the guy over there who usually wears a schmedium. It's the guy who doesn't know what romp, romper stomper is. It's the stats yeah, guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and watch romper stomper tonight. Uh, yeah, we've had a funny chat before the yeah. show. Uh, I must be getting desperate if I'm on, but I'm very happy to back, uh, be back on. There is two Let's North go. Melbourne games coming up, yes. so we thought we'd bring the stats guy on. Anyway, before we get going, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow AFL Today on those platforms. So just literally just Google AFL Today Show. That's where we come up on YouTube. Of course, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X is AFLW Today. And wherever you get a good podcast, just search AFL Today because the men's show and the AFLW show all on the same channel. You don't need to do any extra work. It's right there for you. Content coming out the wazoo. <laughs> but anyway, footy's back. Footy's back. Yes, let's go. All right, um, news. Was there an injury last night? Please, God, I hope there wasn't an injury. No, I don't think there was. Is that the first yes. game ever? Kirsty Lamb got slammed right, yeah. a couple of times, and she's like, she's one of the toughest players getting around. Yeah. And the second sort of head knock she got, uh, it was in front of goal, and she didn't go back and take it. She literally Which is, put, yeah, up, put up the hands and, mm. and yeah, had a. she was definitely not feeling good and was like wincing in pain. Mm. So I think there's two suspensions coming out of the game. Yeah, there was some I bad do. tackles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really there, was, I mean, there was a lot of slings, like, like, weren't Not there? just like those ones and where the, you accidentally, it was full yeah. on bang well, like a WWE art. Yes, Alex, like you love. German suplex all day, baby. <laughs> uh, is going to get a week and she- Sheeran will get two weeks because that was worse than Yassir's. Yeah. Probably, so, yeah. When will we, will we find that out? Next couple of days probably. Probably yeah. today because mm. they're probably going to play a game in two days. That's why we had the uh, McKenzie suspension went from a suspension to a fine and we found that out on Monday. What a novel idea. <laughs> uh, do we want to quickly touch on that game so we can just rip into it? Uh, yep. Richmond looked good. Probably should have won by a lot. Stuffed around with the footy. Yeah, it was good to see Katie Brennan uh, again She's in time for. Yeah, she yeah. is. You're especially welcome. Because, especially because, you know, those that first, second game, mm. Um, We're a little yeah, bit worried. She, yeah, she was in all sorts, hmm. and now she's come back. It's almost when I watch her now, like she's just got so much time with the ball and yeah. so much skill. You see her; it's like she's in slow motion. Yeah, and she's got time to look around the ball, solid, and just uh, yeah, she she's elite. So I'm really happy she's she's playing some good games. Yeah, she's got three goals, two goals, three goals since yeah. that first round where she well she zero three. So yeah. she's she's bounced back awesomely. You got Port. They probably shouldn't have been in it, but they got a few goals, I think, in the third or fourth. And then Katie Brennan goes, oh, I'm just going to stop that. And yeah. she just kicked a goal. <laughs> and then Richard was like, all right, we're back on track. Yeah. They kicked 0-5 yeah. to start. Yeah. And then, yeah, then they got on a roll after that. But they should have won by a bit more. Yeah, yeah. the 0-5 was, yeah, that was, was a lot. I feel like they were just having a crack. Yeah. You know what they, I mean? they were playing well. They yeah. just couldn't finish. Yeah. yeah. Also got to the bottom of mouth guard gate. Hosking definitely doesn't wear a mouth guard. Yeah, Katie Brennan doesn't chat. either. And yeah. I was I was Googling last night because we were on the group chat, lit up the group chat. <laughs> and it's not a, like a legal requirement. Yeah. No, no, it's you not. Wear. It's the same as AFL. But I think you'd you very should dumb wear, not to wear a mouth, mouth guard. guard. You're a silly sausage like, if you, you gonna, don't you, wear a mouth there's guard. There's a lot of players that have just gotten teeth taken yeah. right out. And Charlie Cameron was missing teeth for yeah. two years because of an errant. Yeah, buddy. Oh, no, he wore a mouth guard. No, Joe Danaher didn't. doesn't wear one. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's weird. Wear a mouth guard, please. Got a mouth on him, old Joe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, too easy doing it with the chewing gum. The chewing gum, yeah. Just get one uh, fit. Also, Port Adelaide, please put Sinead Goody in the midfield. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Do it. Yeah, when when she was in the midfield, they were, they were playing a lot better. That's yeah, true, yeah, she did. She was doing really well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, great kit as well. Okay, it was I was going to mention that last Oh, my God. I love that I real teal would've... kit. <laughs> I knew you would have been loving the kit. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. It felt a little bit plain to me. I don't know. Oh. Those, Port always used the black or the grey. It looks a lot better than the grey. Oh, the grey one sucks. Yeah. So yeah. I like the teal one. Yeah. Anyway, fan base is Richmond like, yeah, we're back. We're good. Four in yeah. a row. Yeah. yeah. Like really good. And Port are just like, eh, okay, not sure. They're all yeah, right, I would like Port to stand up. A they, little bit They need more. to beat Carlton on Sunday. Yep, 100%. Yep. All right, let's get into the game previews. So this is coming out Thursday morning when you're listening to this. So Carlton and North Melbourne will have played. We're just going to let the stats guy talk about North <laughs> Melbourne for 30 seconds, but we do know Yasmin Dersma, who announced on the red carpet that she's making With her Harry, debut. Yeah. What a way to make your a debut announcement yeah. and someone else is coming in. Uh, Meg Robertson. Yes, Meg, Meg Robertson yeah. is also going to make her, her debut. And North Melbourne have decided to rest uh, Kate Shearlaw. And, and Bruton, yeah. Yeah. So, Which I, we did talk about in the group chat last night. 
And was it, are they going a bit cocky or is it being smart? Jenner's off games Achilles, so yeah, yeah, what do yeah, you think yeah. Well, Britain, yeah. Britain's already been struggling with the, that Achilles injury, yeah. that kind of stuff. So that makes sense to me. She and resting Sheila yeah. as well. Yeah. Big out though because she's been kicking all the she's all the goals. She's been but, huge, right? Just played uh, Jazz Garner at centre half forward for that. As night. you guys touched oh, okay. on Monday, North should get a, a pretty easy win here. Way too tall even without Sheila, I think. Yeah. Yep. yep. Pretty easy. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I think it'd be 25, 30 point margin. Today. Okay, yeah. well, if if it's <laughs> if Thursday North morning and you're listening to this and North have lost, send your hate tweets to at Stats Guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Thursday, you're going to be there. GMHBA yes. Stadium, Taxpayer Park, Geelong taking on Hawthorne. Cats won the one game last year by 40 points. This is going to be fun. I think it's going to be, be really it's going to be a really good game. I'm really excited to be out there. I love GMHBA Stadium mainly because it's a proper stadium that the, <laughs> that the players get to play in. True. So um, we might have Press Barkas back. She's a test oh, for this game. We, we okay. had that conversation off air on Monday, going that she probably could have played on the weekend at the Gold Coast, but Better potentially her, yeah. playing Thursday. So. Yeah. So hopefully that will be a, a big boost for the Geelong midfield mm-hmm. because. If you want to talk inconsistency, oh my let's God, talk I know. about Geelong. They look like a top four team and then they look like a bottom four team. Yeah. Like the same, and then they look like week. top four again. Yeah. So. What is that? Why is it? I don't know. It's not a Geelong thing to do, is it? No. It's mainly their offense. Like, what was it? Last week they started off the game 62 to zero. They couldn't even get a goal against Carlton. And yeah. they're the exact same team. Yeah. I am Very forgiving weird. of that Carlton game. It was hailing sideways. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, I get it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where the games I'm goal, forgiving though. of. Come on. Yeah, kick, uh, like, kick a goal. Right those stats, guy. <laughs> How's your team. men's team going this year? <laughs> uh, I'm on, I, that's why I'm on the <laughs> AFLW show. I just want to talk about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> but Hawks' offense is the way to go. They are 100%. number one in the comp at the moment. They just score yep. goals for fun. As we saw on the weekend, just... Maybe don't let them have uncontested marks about 15 metres out because that Greta was, was just accurate six goals. Yeah, yeah awesome. she was all over it. I think the I think the Hawks are really gonna expose Geelong again this week. Ooh, I think they'll really, really yeah, I think they'll really take it up to them. Even if Press Barkus um does get in, I think their ability to clear from a stoppage, rebound from defensive 50, move the ball, hit their forwards, like they're they're an elite team in the competition yeah. at the moment, yeah. and um, I really feel like they're hitting their stride. Just yeah. watching them over the last couple of weeks, the way they're playing that link up kind of play. You've got Bodie and Anya McDonough who are finding great form in front of goal. I just think they're going to be way too classy for Geelong. Yeah, I like I it. it. All right. Well, the big question is, can Geelong back it up? From the sounds of it, no. I Hawks re- by thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Holy I'm tipping crap. Geelong. I, Are you? I, I, I think that. The Hawks have definitely been better this year in terms of consistency, but at their best, I still think Geelong is a better side at their best. Maybe not in terms of scoring 70 points, but then Hawks are you are not overrating good. the performance against Gold Coast? Who I'm trying terrible. to justify myself saying how good uh, Geelong were on the last time I was on the show, I think, partly. But I do think Geelong at their best can stop the Hawks scoring 60 plus points, which they've scored in almost every game this year. So I think it's they can definitely... You uh, realise Geelong has no height whatsoever, that's right? That's right. I, I think they're going to run them off their legs. Nina Morrison's been really good. I think they're going to be really good, Geelong. And Geelong Nina Mar- Morrison is always really good. Yeah, even but she when stepped they up get even more. Belted. I know, I know. Nina Morrison is really good. I'm going Geelong by five. I'm not very confident on that, but I think it's going to be really close and it could go either way, I think. Fascinating. Yeah. And cool. it's been nice having you on the Yeah, show. exactly. Yeah. yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> can make executive decisions on behalf of me. Uh, Hawks by God. Oh, you're eating a hot spot. Yeah, go. Hot spot I reckon go. they're going to smash him. There you go. Let's get to grand final Friday. We have games all day. This yes. is probably the best thing about mm-hmm. the public holiday. I don't care. I honestly do not <laughs> care about the parade. Footy. Yeah. I got footy. We're going to watch footy. Swinburne Centre, which is <clears throat> like next door to here. It's yep. that, that, that's the Swinburne Centre, right? It's the Holden Centre. The tr- it's the oh, Collingwood yeah, Training it's Ground. It's Collingwood training. training Ground. That's the Swinburne Centre, right? Okay. Yeah, something like that. That's sweet. That is literally two kicks from here. Uh, Colin <laughs> would take kick. on the Gold Coast Suns at 12.05 in the afternoon. The Suns uh, have won the one head-to-head game here. This is two teams who desperately need a win. Yes. Collingwood, who've got top-up players coming out the wazoo, we're not being super harsh on them. Gold Coast suck. Oh, bang. They suck. Their defense, yeah. They did really well against Carlton, obviously, that draw. But other than that, they're not GWS. showing us. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, GWS. Uh, yeah, they're not showing that much, are they? And I say that. I'm sick AFL- of being kind to Gold Coast, like in general, of that <laughs> club. I've got a good midfield. Oh, that's great. Whitford and Rowbottom and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah. But other than that, they, they are struggling. They can't bit. score. They can't defend. Like, what are they doing? One thing I would like to point out about this game, which I mentioned on the group chat last night, um, 
We don't talk much about betting uh, in women's sports yep. because love the game, not the yep. odds. Yep. Uh, but I just need to point out here that in this match, on the AFLW match thing, and there's always like odds on odds, the sports. Yeah, yeah. Because everywhere. No odds have been given for this game. I because, think that's more due to potentially teams not being named yet. Yeah, but the other games after it, I think, have. Yeah, the other yeah. games after it. Is it because no Everybody one, got odds oh except God, for the no, bottom two teams. I've just had a quick look. There literally isn't. There, this is what I mean. Yeah. that's so, Is that just because... Everyone's like, oh, Collingwood don't have any players, but then Gold Coast aren't going too well. So I reckon I the there's be. literally <laughs> no odds. That's all right. Weird. How does that happen, betting man? Yeah. Um, I'm, I would believe it to be because they are waiting for teams to be announced and then they'll be able to frame a market based on that. Yeah, but what about the other There's still not – all the games on Sunday haven't got betting odds okay, out yet okay. either because also you there think you about Carlton have still got to play – uh, tonight, well, tonight as we're recording this. If I was betting, I'm staying away from this game. Yeah, hell no. It's, oh, a, it's a tough game, yeah. <laughs> so maybe you know, that's, that's why there's no odds. <laughs> spend your 10 bucks on... Not putting on, that in your same game, Mum. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Spend not. your 10 bucks on maybe a pie and a can of soft drink. Can yeah. you get that for 10 bucks these days? Spend it on that well, yeah, pie, probably. not these pies. Yes. yes. Good call. There we go. Uh, so where do we go with this game? Because... Is this just if Charlie Rowbottom decides to be the best player in the competition, Gold Coast win it? But if Sabrina Fredericks can get on top in the ruck, Fredericks been really, yeah, probably really good. Where they're going to win the game? Think, yeah, yeah. Oh, you go. I have I, no trust in forward lines. I think Gold Coast, um, their <laughs> midfield is it like is really quite outstanding. I yeah. think it's <laughs> definitely going to outsmart uh, Collingwood's. But then once as soon as they're out of the mid, they've got. Nowhere yeah. to kick it to, no. not a target, no one with skills. Um, Less so, structure, yeah. yeah. The old Nelson months, I'm going to do it myself. Just yeah. do it yourself, yeah. Yeah, and they should, so, yeah, you've got Robottom who's averaging 32 disposals a game at the moment, wow. and then Whitford and Lucy Single are 22 disposals. 22. That'd be great, yeah. yeah and yeah. Daisy Darcy is just um, incredible as well. So um, Benici is a test for this week they for really Collingwood. Need oh, my this week. oh, my God. Even yeah. Benici with terrible disposal efficiency is better than but no Benici. Yeah. Improved in week on week, I think. Still oh, less yeah. than 50 for this. Ah, uh, there's a, I, if you look into a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but it's noticeable when she, when she is getting 20 to 25 yeah. of it and it's just spraying everywhere. Yeah, that's all right. Um, I thought Grace Campbell has been playing pr- fairly decently up yeah. forward, uh, for Collingwood. Forward and is, is, yeah, good. is mm. one of their most solid um performers down there, and also Sarah Rowe. Yes, um, she's always good. I she's think. lightning, yep. she's one yep. of my favorite Irish players, and um, yeah. Obviously, Slash has been doing great things in the back line. She could have a big day off halfback. She really could, and I'd like to see her just maybe even get a goal off halfback. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, Come on, Slash, we, let's we, get a goal. Let's go. We, we talked about that on Monday's show. Where we're like, where do we put Ruby? It's like, well, you can't put her in. You can't put her forward because the ball doesn't get there. If you're in the midfield, you've got no one to rebound, so mm. you've almost got to have a running off halfback. Yeah, and, wing. Yeah, but wings are she, hard. she is strong in defense yeah. as well. Yeah. So yeah, she is. I'd rather have probably yeah, down yep. there. Answer the big question: Can the Pies take advantage of the very, very weak Gold Coast defense? I'm gonna say no because I don't think Collingwood's forward line is much good. Mm. Like they caught the Swans out in transition in round one, mm. but that oval was as big as this table. Mm. So really and they had a lot more players available. Yeah, everyone was fit back then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got the Suns by ten. Mm. I think that their midfield. Uh, will be able to get it out a lot more and they'll have more inside 50s to be able to try and get on the board yep. rather than Collingwood who cannot even get it down. Yeah, good call. 50. They kicked a goal in the first seven seconds and then kicked one for the rest of the game last week. Yeah. yeah. Shots, I'll, I'll go similar. Gold Coast by 15, exactly what Bryony said. Yeah. Just the midfield's going to get him more, more chances. They might not be that clinical either side on goal, but I think Gold Coast will be a be bit a stronger. Me- yeah. Messy old game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's a bit weird. Gold Coast, massive drop off yeah. Gold Coast this year. Compared no to defense. Last year. They yeah. lost their defense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You'd think after saying Gold Coast suck and they're terrible, I would be tipping against them. No, I'm tipping them. I think <laughs> I just think their midfield just has that little bit of a class edge. They get it done by a goal in a scrappy affair. Like, not to be rude, I'm glad this is the first game and you get to build in through the day because we've got some fantastic games later <laughs> mm-hmm. in the day. It's like, you know when you like watch a great weekend of footy and then the last game is terrible? It sort yeah. of has a bit of taste like in your mouth. this will be close and still fun to watch in a weird <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, There's yeah. going to be lots of tackling pressure. I think yeah. this will yeah. be fun, yeah. Let's get to Windy Hill. Essendon take on the D's. 205. The D's belted Essendon last or the last time they met by 40 points. Both teams not going well, which we saw with the D's. Essendon, I'm more disappointed in Essendon than I am the D's, actually. Mm-hmm. What do we do here? Because there's injury lists coming out the wazoo for both teams because Melbourne have got Paxi still a test. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gemma Ragoni's a test, but you've got uh, Zanka and Taylor who 
to be confirmed to how long they're out for. Yeah. There's some big names in there. Yeah, yeah massive names. We still got Olivia Purcell who's not playing. It's just like, oh, yeah. And then, of course, you look at Essendon and Bonnie Too Good's not there as well. So this is – it's one of those ones where you look at both teams, you're like, you can see why both teams could win, but you got to see why both teams can lose. It's not really – 100%. Yep. You're a Bombers fan. Take us through it. <laughs> well, I'm excited for Matty Gay to be playing against her old side yes. for the first yep. time, so that'll be good. He's so hopefully well, yeah. the Bombers have got some uh, intel there. Uh, mm-hmm. Maddie's having a really great season as well. I think yeah. she'll be really happy with her time at the Bombers. Yep. And what do they do with Mads? Are they going to send her to Kate Hoare if Kate Hoare's Ooh. playing down forward? I, um, I feel like you'd want him to take more marks and sort of not have to worry as much about her Would uh, Kate player, be too but- athletic for Maddie? No, that is no, no, super athletic. I know, but they're both there. like similar size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be a good matchup. Yeah. yeah. But is it similar where you like you don't want Maddie to be worried about defending the best player in the competition and then you put her on someone else so yeah. she can That's free herself thinking, up? But, yeah. But then again, like Bryony's saying, is she the best matchup for? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah. Kate Hall kicks one. two goals, they win. That's yes. the rule. Yes. yes. Yeah. They win like 90% stop, of the time. Stop Kate. Yeah. Kicking goals. <laughs> yeah. Stop yeah. Kate. You're, it, it literally is like the rule because we saw on the weekend the D's, they, she only kicked one goal for the D's and yeah. he's lost. Mm. Yeah. So you've got obviously Prasparkas is going to be running through the midfield like a bull at a gate <laughs> yeah. and just trying to take charge and get first use of the footy. But as we've seen all year with Essendon, once they get it forward, they're like, what do we do? Yeah. They what need do we do? To, this is in my notes. Daro Bannister and Sophie Alexander need to step up yep. and take their chances, some huh? marks yes. and get These on ones. the board. These ones. Just like <laughs> that. Just like that. These <laughs> ones. It's all right. I'll fix it up. Um, uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. I think Essendon, even against Adelaide, I think first quarter and a half, they had a lot of inside 50s, hmm. missed chances on goal or fumbles or missed kicks and things like yeah. that. If they get rid of those little fumbles, little missed kicks, even by just half the amount, mm-hmm. they can easily win a lot more games. Just mm-hmm. that since we uh, went to the game in the first round, they've obviously improved since then with dropping marks and things like that. But if they just fix a few of those, they can win games. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. It's it's again, <clears throat> we, and we say this week on week. It's about getting those like smaller things yeah. right. Those little ones. The basics. Like, <clears throat> they've got the, the basics. Right yeah. players. I think they've got good structure and things like that. Just a yeah. little, few little fumbles that cost yeah. them. Yeah. A hundred percent. And then, um, we, then we look at the D's who somehow thrown that game away last weekend. They've been blown <laughs> off the park by Brisbane. Very unlike them to sort of play like, like they, this. They yeah. showed us in round one that they are decent or does that show us that Geelong maybe aren't that great and maybe they're not. Like, Geelong you, are inconsistent. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we know about Geelong. Yeah. So Geelong are great and they're bad. And then they're bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, just, we don't know about Geelong. I don't know about Melbourne either. It's I expect more from Melbourne, but at the same time, the start of the season, like you're going to miss finals. So I'm like, I'm right, but I didn't expect them to be this bad. I think that they're performing uh, satisfactory to how we Ooh. thought they would. This okay. I th- I, yeah, I think <clears throat> I thought they were going to be better, to be honest. But I, I really, really? I, I thought they were yeah. massive. Because they were really bad in preseason rocked. and things like that. Bad but in I thought preseason, they were back. Yeah. they've lost everyone. Mm. They've had injuries. Yeah. It doesn't help when your best or second best player doesn't have a face. Can't well, play. yes, that as well. <laughs> like if we need yeah. stats guy in the face, this show, these shows that we have on in this network, we just go off the rails completely. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. stats guy's our behind the scenes glue. Yeah, he is. You are. Right? Oh, I need you. the glue. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, gluey. Yeah, gluey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gluey guy. They call him. Where is that? Uh, <laughs> the big question of this is: Can the D's throw one last punch and just give their season? Like you know, it's like the when someone's getting you know you, you're compressing on someone's heart, you just go bang, give them the elbow and try and wake them up. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. aggressive. Yeah. What a what a great I, analogy. I, uh, yeah, Doctor Donnelly over there. I, I, I don't <laughs> want to go anywhere, anywhere near you if I, I'm having something like that. I think they can. I think they'll be happy they're coming up against Essendon this week just to get a <laughs> hopefully a confidence booster. I know. Mm-hmm. That, sorry to Essendon fans out there. We, we, you guys talked them up earlier on the season. Oh no, I, I can't. I, I said can't I was, trust them. I was happy to be wrong because yeah. I would jump off and bag Essendon like that. Yeah, I think Sinead Goldrick has been a real shining light for um, the D. She's been really, really yeah. good yeah. off half back, and then she was playing a bit half forward, can play anywhere. So I think, yeah, they'll be all right. And I'm going to go D's by 12. Same. Oh, there you go. Seven points. Seven, yeah. D's. D's. Uh, yeah, D's. But it'll be close. Yeah. Down to Moorabbin, RSEA Arena, St Kilda take on Fremantle. Interesting matchup, this one. Yeah, it is, it's isn't it? It's a tough it? one. Dockers yeah. 2-0. Freo won the lo- have won both of them, obviously. Uh, <laughs> last one was by four goals. St Kilda are still probably going, what the hell was that? Mm. What did they do last week? That was... Strio came from nowhere to beat the D's and now have to come to Melbourne. No on your tie. It's probably not ideal. Literally. No, definitely not yeah. ideal. No, she, Gabby O'Sullivan. She's, she's well, out yeah. for the season. Yeah, well, Gabby, yeah, we didn't mention that. So Gabby O'Sullivan appealed the suspension. We met, We forgot to mention that in the news. Appealed the, appealed the suspension mm. for the one game. Eliza Riley was just tweeting like a mad woman last night. Not happy. <laughs> yeah. It was like, it wasn't intentional. 
She let her off. I think it was a little bit stiff. Yeah. I thought she was stiff to get the work. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Anti-Vic bias. <laughs> yeah, um, we like Fred. What happened to St. Kilda last week? They just could not get they got their hot. hands on the ball at no, all. No, they couldn't. They had 80 less Looked kicks. Slow. 20 less handballs, mm. so 100 less disposals. Oh. Efficiency inside 50 was 24%. In a, in yeah, a no W good. game, having 100 less disposals, you're going to get Is, smashed. Uh, absolutely. So, yeah, they need to look for other options inside be- besides Jesse Wardlaw. Yeah. Wardlaw's having a great season still anyway. Great, she still yeah. kicked the two goals. Mm-hmm. Like, she's having a great season. Definitely look for her. But there needs to be other people. Yeah around Even, who are going to get on the board. Yeah, they probably need to, maybe not like a decoy lead, but as soon as she's gone, look for the other option instead of sometimes they're looking deep in the pockets yeah. for her or things like that. Yeah, I really yeah. agree on that. Yeah. Or, or just people who are, are crumbing the ball properly mm. and, you know, when it's coming out of the packs and that kind of stuff, they yep. need to be able to get that run on so that they can um, get on the board. Yeah. Do we know if Ella Friend's going to be playing? Because I think that was also uh, something that was underrated last week. Without having her in the goal square, they became too centric on Wardlaw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, so I've got that one, yeah. back... <laughs> It does help them a lot, um, but this is this Frio, is weird. Yeah. I think although they've got some outs, Frio, they just have found ways to win. Like they've had two or three games this year where you're going, oh yeah, they're done, and then five minutes left, they'll kick two goals and then win the game out of nowhere. Yeah, so they, it must be like I think I don't know if this is the right word, but maybe fit, but like very fit to close out games, very yep. um, strong minded just to just to finish. I never know, say die. Never say die. Things like that. So I think Freo will be right up there in this match. Because last week it was the second biggest comeback in AFLW yes. history. Yeah. So you know they they got a bit going on, yeah. and they, and they know so well. they know how to fight and win scrappy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mimstrom's in for a big game here because the Saints rock is slightly inexperienced. Mm-hmm. So will probably give first use of the footy to Frio in and around the contest, which is a worry for St Kilda. Yep. Yep. But you've got to think Nicky Dale knows that and he mm-hmm. will have them set up probably a bit defensively at stoppage so they can try and get their hands on the footy as well. Yep. They played a bit like that against Essendon, I think, the Saints, a little bit more defensive. And, and, that's Sydney. Why it was, and Sydney. That's why it was a bit le- uh, lower scoring. I wouldn't mm. be surprised if this one's a yeah, low scoring one. Yeah. All right. Uh, with big... no, oh, sorry. No, I've just go. got one One more. On, yeah, yeah. Uh, just with On Your Tie being out, I think Ebony Antonio's had a, a fairly quietish really season for her, yeah, hasn't yeah. she? Yeah. Um, so I think she needs to step up and mm-hmm. be a little bit more destructive on the scoreboard there. And then also Hayley Miller, we know they, yeah. they they play her on the ball, but maybe depending on what's going on, they might drop her into the forward I'm line. I'm going to talk about that in my big call possibly later, Ooh. actually. Hayley, but Hayley Miller, yeah. Yeah, yeah Why not? great. Well, the big call is no tie, no Freo, question mark? No tie, no free. Well, I, I know because I am tipping the Dockers. Ooh, Even are you? I, that's going to be my big call as well. I just think they know how to win. They're going to make this scrappy. The Saints, they, they're a little bit inconsistent. I know they've won a lot of games. but again, they've they lost once, They could have lost man. to Essendon if Essendon took their chances. And I think that Freo are just overall a better team. Yeah. Oh, I, you should have, could have, would have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, they, yeah, exactly. Should have. The, yeah. the, the, the yeah, oh, we should have won that game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we should have won it. Yeah, should have won that game. Yeah, true. But I think I might be a bit of an outlier here. I'm tipping the Dockers. Yeah, but you do that and you yeah. win. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Although game. I did lead the tipping last week. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you did. You, you had a shot. I had, yeah, I wasn't good last week. So. <laughs> also, yeah, shout out to Spence, not, reali- not listening to the show, realizing we tipped the dogs. Yeah. It nailed it. Oh, nice. Anyway, uh, Saints. Saints are me. Probably yeah. by two goals. I've put Saints by 12. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I like it. All right, let's get to Witten Oval. Friday night, Western Bulldogs take on my beloved Sydney Swans. Swans smacked the Western Bulldogs last year and the one time that they met by 57 points. Yep. I'm going to be at Witten Oval on Friday night. Come say good day. I'm going to be there. going to be hanging out. Hot get, chips. Hot chips. Oh, yeah, you're going to do a chip review? I'm going to have to do a chip review. I didn't do one of the SCG. HCR. Didn't do one of the SCG last week because the line was way too big. Okay. Oh, and I wanted to watch the footy. <laughs> Surely you get yeah, just, just like flash your pass. I'm, I'm gonna do a chip review for you guys, and, just, and then I, I'll I, give a good review. I, I don't think there's gonna be forty seven thousand people at Witten Oval on Friday night. Uh, so it'll be a public holiday. Who knows? I might be able to get some hot chips. Big Swans contingent is going to be at this game. Like yeah, a oh, lot yeah. of yeah. Be, um, a grand game, final. So yeah. a lot of Swans fans that have converging on Melbourne or that are already in Melbourne. There is a big group chat that I'm in. There's at least a hundred of us that are going. Oh, awesome. Wow, okay. So there's there could be Swannies are gonna be up and about. Yeah. Yeah. It's been actually asked uh the AFLW very late. They asked last week to can they play before the grand final? Same season so because of the same vibe. So that all the people sorry, if Brisbane can play in Victoria this week. So yeah, similar to Sydney, you. 
but obviously very late to organize that's the that. Schedule, yeah. Right? yeah, it's you a can't... schedule. You can't do that. But it would have been cool if the they swan... could. Do that. I mean, you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah. The swan. Yeah, I mean, the, the we're swan... playing games at the Swinburne Centre. Yeah, we're also God playing sakes. games every three yeah, or four days. Yeah. As well, yeah. The, the Swans have lucked out, and they're playing on the Friday night in Melbourne. That's yeah, just... I think that's going to be great. So there could be a few people there. Oh no, there's going to be a fair few Swans fans there. There's there's group chats about trying to get like a Cynthia Hamilton chant, a Montana Ham one side. Great. Dogs are coming off a win. Looking good for the KPIs. for the AFL. You're welcome, AFL. The Sydney Swans are helping you out. Nice. Once again. Anyway, let's get to this game. The dogs got got a win last week, so they'll be up and about. Like, they will be up and about. Like, there is rivalry between Sydney and the Western Bulldogs. Like, there is a bit of anger yeah. between the two mm-hmm. two clubs. So hopefully that spills over to the W programs and we get a bit of we've had a bit of argy bargy with this one this year. It's been great. Yeah. Bit of biff. Like, you like a bit of biff. I right? do. I, I love do. a bit of biff. Yeah. You know, because there's not many the there's year. not many situations where women are encouraged or <laughs> thought of positively for engaging okay. in mm. biff, yes. you know what I mean? Yeah, Whereas, yeah. like, the boys are like, yeah. Boy. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, women are, not cele- <laughs> women are not celebrated for that, but in the AFLW, yeah, I get oh, what you're saying. Yeah. they are celebrated for that. Yeah. So oh. I like that. I like, I like the aggression. Nice. I think this game is actually going to be pretty good because you've got Bell Pritchard in the middle, uh, going up potentially up against Laura Gardner, Cynthia yeah. Hamilton. So my main thing is for Swan Scott Gowns, just send Tanya Kennedy. Just sit her on Pritchard, tackling they pressure might, all yeah. day. Okay. Well, if you stop Pritchard, you're probably going to win the game yep. of footy. Yep. Ali Morford back in for the Swans. That's already oh, been thank announced. Oh, God. So they've that's, been, that's a big they, yeah. That's a massive mm. in. Yeah. So that helps them around the footy. We've seen Sparks from Montana Ham. You had Sarah Grundon pop up, kick a couple last week. Beck Privatelli kicks a set shot. She might kick a goal. Yelled about that. They yep, improved their offense, did. the dogs, the last three weeks as well. Like they, they Each look, game. Each game. So the first few weeks they had, what, nine and six points. Then they've gone 21 against West Coast. Decent. 34 against the Lions, which is, which is which a good effort, was, which a lot of teams can't yeah, do. Yeah, which was like kicking, their high score. Kicking, kicking, like kicking five goals against Brisbane. Yeah. I'm taking more out of that than kicking nine against 100%. Collingwood. Yeah. yeah, and then they've gone 57 against Collingwood. They've got uh, Western Turner and Fitzgerald got on the scoreboard last week. That'll yeah. build their confidence, that young forward line. They're going to be better each week, yeah. I think. So this will, they'll be a lot better. Yeah, than the Swans think. are going to need to play their best footy if mm-hmm. they're going to win this because the dogs are improving yeah. with every single game. Yeah. They just need to be able to take marks yep. inside 50. The yep. most they've ever taken in a single game is five. Oh. Wait, this year? Yeah. Oh, my God. So that is, that's not enough. No. no that's not enough. The, the Swans' defence has held up a lot of times, but the Swans do have this problem of playing like awesome for 20 minutes. And then doing nothing for forty. Yeah, it's yeah. been great. Yeah. <laughs> so, provided that they, if they can get on top of the midfield battle, which they've shown that if Laura Gardner is getting a lot of the footy, if Ali Morford can show somewhat of her all Australian best, extra mid, yeah, this yeah. is just it could be a route. <clears throat> yeah, because down down back for the dogs, Lauren Aaron's will be in for a big game as well. Mm-hmm. Like has been taking intercept really mark good. after intercept mark. Yep. If you continue to pile on the pressure. And the Swan small forwards can start buzzing around. They can get the goals provided they use the footy. Mm-hmm. It's been the biggest problem all year. So the big question out of this is, can the dogs go back to back or, uh, you know, are the Swans somewhat back if they're three and two? Yeah, I don't think the dogs can go back to back. I don't I, it, think. Like, although we were saying, oh, they've really improved. They're not at that next level yet. They're still one of the, the bottom side. So, yeah, yeah I'm going to go uh, Swans. I think they have the potential to scare the Swannies yeah. if the Swannies are not playing First three their, quarters, best, yeah, their, their best footy. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I think Sydney will get their run on. You've got the crowd, you know, um, Sydney by 18 points. Swans by three goals as well. If yeah, you I'm want a full Sydney Swans preview, I was on the True Bloods you AFLW were. podcast yeah. once again on a Monday night Special where we guest. talked about the GWS game and this week's game. So great. if you want all Swans enough, go there. Nice. It's great. I also yelled about the goal kicking there. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you full yelled the other yeah, day. Yeah, I know, I know. How rude. So- no. no, I'm joking. I love it. I love it. What you, what Jess whips are really nervous. Like, you're angry about a lot. Yes, Jess, I am. <laughs> Let's get to Sunday. <laughs> Did she message you? No, she said that when she oh was my here. God. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, yeah, angry man. <laughs> yeah. If you're always angry, you're never let down by anything. So that's great. Oh, what a, what a wow. great way to live. What a, that, <laughs> wow. That seems real healthy. I'm going to use that in an argument <laughs> this week. I'm going to put it in. What's your problem? I'm Blow always angry. <laughs> you should know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally. Let's get to Sunday. Let's get to Tassie. What happens in Tassie, stats guy? Well, on our, yeah, AFL men's, we always say weird stuff happens weird in stuff Tassie. Happens in weird Tassie. stuff yeah. happens in Tassie. Like, there's yeah. always weird results, weird amount of goals, weird goal kick. Yeah, it's always Like James weird. Sisley winning a game playing forward for Hawthorne type of weird. Mm. Well, it's, all, it's already weird. North are playing a home game in Launceston, which is very rare because the contract is always in Hobart. But anyway, that's, a, that's another Okay, right. there you yeah. are. Yeah, that's Contra- pretty weird. Contract weird. weird. North, North Melbourne host Richmond at UTAS at 105. 
North lead this. They haven't been beaten by Richmond ever. Four wins and a draw. Yes. So we saw Richmond on uh, last night, Tuesday as we're recording this, uh, as we're recording on Wednesday, sorry. So we'll, North Melbourne will play tonight. We assume that Jenna Bruton and Kate Sheila will play, but that is a very quick backup Wednesday to Sunday with the trip to Tassie involved because it is a bit of a ball ache to get to Tasmania. <laughs> Stats man. I don't, I don't think we have ball lakes in AFLW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he doesn't. He's saying for, for his. Uh, just in oh, general. For you, for just him. in your. Uh, let's just go with okay. that. Right. I don't if even I want to go there. If I punted a footy at you, it would ache because a ball hit you. <laughs> okay, got it. There you go. Yeah. Made it work. Oh, my God. All right. Should we brainstorm what else we would call? <laughs> That's on our other podcast. A pain yeah. in the ass. That's on our, yeah, pain in the ass. That worked. Like, who wants to go to Tassie? Honestly. <laughs> oh, it's good. Not, not no, you but went, I last went time you went there, your team lost by 100. This is great. It's great. Other than Launceston. I've been twice. It's good. Is it Launceston or Launceston? Lawn, oh, what did I say? <laughs> Lawn, he's like, Lawn, he's like yeah. an American. Oh, we're going to go to- Lawn? Launceston. Yeah, it's Launceston. It's, it's, it's not even L-A-W-N said. stats, guy. Oh, yeah. Not the Lots of grass in yeah. Launceston. It's like Brisbane. <laughs> Brisbane, yeah, yeah. Brisbane. Melbourne. Yeah. Brisbane. Yeah. Anyway. You're, you're the North Melbourne fan. We'll get into some sorry, more. Sorry, no, you're good. You're good. Like We're going to have fun. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm just excited for the midfield battle. Obviously, Ooh, Richmond, yeah. four in a row. They've got Conti, McKenzie, Egan. I think Egan just uh, had her 50th game. She, yep. she was great. McKenzie, uh, I think, got best on ground by a few people online. And then Mitney Conti, you always know what you're going to get mm-hmm. for her. But then you've got Garner, Riddell, possibly Bruton, possibly Mia King in there as well. Just mm-hmm. so many good midfielders. It's going to be so It's going to be awesome, watch. isn't and it? And I think it's a good challenge for North because North just always dominate in the midfield. Not always uh, make their chances down forward. But yeah, it's going to be really fun to watch. I, I mean, they did beat up Brisbane in round one and Brisbane do have a good That midfield. was a weird game as well. Oh, yeah, Brisbane was, looked yeah. so off. It may Brisbane as well have been played in Tassie. It was that weird. <laughs> exactly, uh, exactly It was right. a nip switch, close enough. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, yeah, I'm just interested to see how Katie Brennan goes. Obviously, she's been in great form and then you come up against one of the best or if not the best team, if she can still kick that sort of bag of three again. Yeah, mm. I agree. Mm. It'll be it'll be interesting if they can step up. And, and same with Mon, you know. Yep. Um, yeah, the, it's the battle of the midfields, and I'm really, really excited to see how it goes. I like I like North Moors. I think they're just that that just little bit a more bit classier, physical. Yeah. Like we talked about how Richmond beat up the Swans. Yeah, mm. I think North Melbourne can beat up well, Richmond. Talking mm-hmm. about physical, you got Mia King, who's averaging yeah. the most tackles in the comp, eleven point eight. I, I thought that was a typo. I was like, how is, how are you getting a left? That is unbelievable. Yeah. I think it's her them and some Marinoff. Jim, them some Jimmy Rowbottom numbers. That that's is insane. Mm, that's a lot of tackles. So, yeah, that North is sort of that cl- yeah that classy team, but they can get down and dirty with the tackles. If it rains in Tasmania and North Melbourne cooked. <laughs> yeah, uh, a little I've bit. I've been saying this. I know, that's why I brought it up. I watched this on the weekend. We're like, oh, it's raining. Let's just not kick a goal. Stats we're guy, so you were playing in a monsoon. Oh, I know, but poor kicked a goal. But one. we couldn't get one and we're supposed to be the best team. You kicked one goal. I know, but it, one goal. North didn't even get one after anyway. It's You'd very already kick six. <laughs> even if it's a little bit of rain, for some reason, North going to their side. So you call them North soft. Because a lot of teams not soft. No, I didn't say that. I said just only they rely on their tools too much. They're really trying to get in there. Yeah, I know. What, what makes <laughs> a team little... play really bad in the wet, right? I, I think North's the tollest team or one of the tallest teams. Yep. And that doesn't help and because we rely on, we rely on big bombs towards Sheil or Randall yep. and things like that. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's any other one. Man, I can figure out a blueprint to beat North straight away. What? Pressure. Pressure? Mm. Yeah. But I I still think- rain. Pressure and rain. Yeah, Yeah. pressure. Yeah, Yeah, there you go. Feels like a Prince song coming out there surely (laughs) too. Uh, Big question. Are Richmond legit? Can they take advantage of North Melbourne on the short to break? 24 hours, but it is still 24 hours. Mm. Like, I is think it, they it's are currently legit, raining in Melbourne. It not looks North like it, legit. It's going to rain all day here in Melbourne by the looks of it. So North could be playing a wet game, heavy legs on a quick backup from going, what, okay. uh, weekend game into Wednesday into Sunday, whereas at least... Oh, Rich- it's supposed to rain in La- uh, Launceston. Launceston. I was going to say We're Launceston again. <laughs> but whereas Richmond have had that extra day's break. Like, it was pretty clean-cut footy last night, so they'll be recovering today. You can see. Right, it's a, it's it, just, no, because it's a really point. interesting point when you put those factors into it. You're like, <sighs> North aren't unbeatable and their kryptonite is the rain. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. And, yeah, on these these short breaks, it's one day extra for Richmond because don't forget, Richmond's playing in the rain as well. Yeah. And Richmond, you know, have these short breaks. They've got one extra day. Um, it helps, though. Yeah, I it think, does. I don't, think it, I don't think it's helping enough no, to... No. Beat so North all, North. All, all things being equal, North Melbourne win this game, but it's Tazzy weird thing. <laughs> I'm still tipping North, by the way. Yeah, same. Yeah, I'm going North by three goals. I think it's going to be close, though. Yep. Yeah, until the last quarter, probably. All right, Henson Park, GWS take on the West Coast Eagles. 
what are we doing here, GWS? Like you're playing, you're not playing the where your fans are based, whatever. <laughs> it's a part, yeah, that's Sydney's home ground, obviously. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's 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 in like the inner west of Sydney where the Swans have cultivated a good fan base. So hopefully people just go because footy's on. I'm but sure they will. Yeah. I, I like this more than playing at Blacktown, I guess, because it's it is so much easier to get to from anywhere good, in Sydney. Good mm-hmm. ground. You can get a train yeah. to Sydney and you just walk around the corner. There you go. You have no idea I, what yeah, it is. Yeah, I was like, yeah. like Sydney. Sydney, yeah. yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Let's talk about Tassie again. Get some two-way streets, okay? <laughs> yeah. Sydney has a lot of one-way streets. It's known for a lot of one-way <laughs> streets. Uh, righto, hook turners. <laughs> <laughs> hook turners. Once you understand the concept of a hook I turn, think, yeah. you're like genius. It's, it's good, yeah. My, Just join the front of the line. <laughs> exactly. My girlfriend has never done a hook turn and she's born, bred in Melbourne. Then we oh, must wow. empower and neither, her. And to neither has Spence over in the corner there. What do you mean, Spence? <laughs> you are a strong, independent woman. <laughs> who don't do a hook turn. Who don't need no hook turn. <laughs> you need a hook turn in your line. You're just joining the front of the line. That's yeah. it. You're cutting the line. Yeah, we're take we can, we, let's do a, a social clip. Se- social we're going to do a social clip. <laughs> GoPro. Hook, hook turns. Yep. Hook turns with, with Spence. Spence and Dawes. <laughs> anyway, to the Another footy. Another great podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got so many podcasts. The, yeah. yeah, before we get on to Dudes Rock, uh, <laughs> the Ella Roberts and Zali Goldsworthy battle of the two young guns in these mm-hmm. teams that oh, are, it's gonna gonna be be going quite well. Like mm. Zali Goldsworthy plays more forward. Ella Roberts does whatever the hell Ella Roberts wants, but you've also got Drennan in there. GWS will look on last week's game going, Probably could have snatched that, mm. but mm-hmm. have lulls which let them down. Also, uh, Punga out for two weeks or two games, not two weeks. Mm-hmm. Two games, yeah. Doesn't help. Mm-hmm. No. It's annoying when you're having players out for just like two games because usually it, it's not that big, but that's a, such a big chunk it, of the it season. It was a in, deserved in the suspension yeah. for a sling tackle. Though. Yeah, like, it was. It was. It's a quarter of a season. It's just annoying, yeah, because it's, it's such a, a big chunk. Of, yeah, six. Oh, sorry, six. <laughs> I was publicly educated. <laughs> Matt's guy. <laughs> <laughs> So Daisy's had a week to work on this for yep. GWS. Going across to Sydney, the big oval, which is similar to that big deck that they play on at home as well, at Henson Park, watching on TV, <laughs> you don't understand how big and wide it actually yep. is. So Daisy's going to try and sh- she's going to do what she did in round one. She's going to stretch them. Yep. Chip, kick, chip, kick, run, run, run. And mm-hmm. GWS, I don't know if they've got the legs to keep up. I don't think they Ooh, do at all. really? And West Coast are improving – Week on week, yep. and and l- like you, you bulldogs and that kind of thing, and Hawthorne and everyone that like I'm finding with those teams who we were a little bit critical of in the beginning, they're starting to sort of get their flow on now and their link up play and and um really just know where each other is and plenty of numbers at the ball and that kind of stuff. And I think yep. that West Coast are really putting things together, and I think that the Giants are not. Mm. Yeah, the giant the Giants really disappointed me last that game could, where they lost to the Swans because I thought I thought they were ahead of the Swans this yeah. year. I think I'm still leaning towards the Giants. I've just gone opposite to you guys apparently today. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm either gonna have a really good week in tipping no, or I'm gonna have a stinker. There's a lot of close up. ones. There's, there's a lot, a lot of close ones, ones where yeah. you're like, yeah, yeah. like if you do this and you do I this. I think I'm, Giants at their best, I think is a better, but West Coast have been more consistent. Well, yeah. I'm more against your Fremantle tip than I am this yeah, one because you're it, tipping the home team. Yeah. That's got pretty much their best team out there. Whereas you're mm. tipping a free OS to come to Melbourne without on your tie. I years. just like Jedi versus Spine. You've got like you got Tiny Evans. You got O'Dowd, who's just turning into already yeah. like a rising star in the yeah. ruck. You got the Golds. Well, I just like. I think their their better players are yeah better than West Coast, but West Coast are showing they have a bit more West depth. Coast are yeah. A team. yeah, they're a bit more of a team. So that's why I'm a bit worried about this tip. But yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm saying West Coast by twenty. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm big. I'm yeah, big yeah. this week. You're making big yeah. calls. I'm punching I, I it. I like it, I like it. Well, because my question, my big question for the game was, have West Coast peaked? I'm going to say no, as I think they get this done really? by a point. A point. One is the loneliest number. This is the Daisy Pierce is a cheat code win going, <laughs> how the hell did they beat GWS? Daisy. Daisy. All right, uh, I'm going Giants by a goal. Okay. I just like going against you guys apparently today. Let's get oh my to God, the- I can't wait till the results at the end of I know, this. I'm nervous already. Game of the season. <laughs> Yes. Game of the season, yeah. Game of the season. Don't mind that. Brighton Homes Arena, 3.05 Sunday afternoon. So if you're hungover after the grand final or whatever <laughs> or you just haven't watched it and you're doing nothing on Sunday afternoon, turn the TV on to Channel 7, turn the TV on to KO and Great watch this game, game of yeah, football. Yeah. I mean, this is probably going to get a good crowd. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Because it's Brisbane-y, yeah. whether they win or lose. Oh, the hungover fans were, I'm going to go sit in the sun and watch more footy. Yeah. Yeah. Drink. And it's going to be probably the highest quality footy you'll see in FOW. Oh, yeah. Have, yeah. Have a couple of beers, have some hot chips. It's going to be good days. The Brisbane Lions host the Adelaide Crows. 
Head to head, seven and four, the Lions lead. Two meetings last year, the Lions won by a combined five points. This really is close. game of the round. This is game of the season. Yeah, I said game of the round in there, but yeah, you could probably do, go game of the season. Two powerhouses, stars everywhere, one mm-hmm. beat two on the ladder. How good? Where do we start? We're going to start in the midfield, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Anderson, Conway, Marinoff, Hatchard. That's going to be really Just fun. Just hook it to my veins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, going to be good. Bring it on. Also, will Anne Hatchard wear the long sleeve in Brisbane? I'm going to say no. Surely it's a it's bit had the long sleeve there. on all year. Brisbane, but is it a superstition yeah. type of thing? I don't know. Some players are yeah. like that. Yeah, you have well, to be crazy so to wear a long in sleeve in thirty degrees or whatever. Do it is you have thing. to be crazy? I think so. It, or just, so, I, oh, this so, is, so, so if Conway does, boiling. so if Conway does the roll halfway up the forearm, she does. She just has a little, yeah. a little peek at the forearm. It's going to be, it's going to be twenty three on. You could, Oh, 23 still, in Brisbane. Still pushing it. Anything that is like 20 degrees in Brisbane, people are still in jumpers. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was I was there uh, like a month ago and it was like, and I get cold and I had like no jacket okay. on and they had the heaters on. Really? In a like an outdoor restaurant by yeah. the thing. Actually, Those no, people get cold when in I 20 went, degrees. Yeah, when I went up there in July, I wore a t-shirt and shorts to the, to the footy because it was hot. But that night we went out for dinner. I was in jeans going, oh, I'm comfortable. And the heater was on. I was like, dude, it's hot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> turn this off. Fair anyway, enough. back to this rivalry. So 11 matches, two grand finals, four games decided by a kick or less. Yep. And the Brisbane Lions are the only team that's got a winning record against the Adelaide Crows. I really wow. like that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That, that, I was going to say it doesn't surprise me, but yeah, the Crows. That shows how dominant the Crows are that no one yeah. in the whole yeah, competition has a winning So yeah, mm. up forward for the Lions. We've got Dak Davidson. Then you've got... Uh, Hart Hill as well. Taylor Smith leading the league yeah, in Taylor the gold. Smith. I feel like we haven't I talked about her. I was build to that. Oh, sorry. sorry, I, I thought sorry. you were done. Yeah, we jumped in. Yeah, we jumped I, I got excited. She's, she's very leading cool. goal kicker, Taylor Smith. <laughs> right, go. Was it 11 it. goals already? Yeah, she's been awesome. Sorry, I didn't know you were building up there. <sighs> just couldn't reach her there. And just pressure as well. Like, yeah. you know, even mm. with a drop mark or whatever, she's still yeah. at the ball, lots of tackle pressure. So versatile. Uh, really versatile. Mm. She's really stepped up this season. And, uh, yeah, I think she's going to be, she's, yeah, she's going to be hard to beat. But then Adelaide defensively uh, yeah. huge as well. So yeah, third best defense in the comp yeah. at the moment, Adelaide, which I thought when I had a look at it, I was like, oh, surely they're number one or two, but still thirds yeah. right up there, obviously, yeah. Mm. Mm. Adelaide would have seen how North Melbourne cut up Brisbane in round mm-hmm. one. Speed, yeah. Speed and clean use of the footy around the ground. Yep. I think Adelaide have the players that can do oh, that. I think they around definitely around. have the players that can do that. So the big question coming out of this is because obviously we've talked about Brisbane's offense, but Adelaide are the third best in the comp but have shared the goals all over the joint in mm-hmm. the first five weeks. If Adelaide win this game, are they the favorites for the flag? Uh, Even if they lose this game, they're still one of the favourites. No, 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 but are they the favourite if they win? I put that in capital letters. Yeah. Uh, I'll say, yeah, I'll go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> capital letters, the, the favourite. Yeah, the. The favourite. Are they the I'd, I'd favourite? Go, I'd say, yeah. Yeah. Because, going, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, you can look back and go, oh, North smashed Brisbane, but that was a very different Brisbane side. That was just a one-off, I think, yeah. for Brisbane. And if, if this is a lot closer, but Adelaide still get over the line. I'd, yeah. I'd if Brisbane the win, are they flag favourites? No. North Melbourne, North Melbourne already absolutely smoked them. But they've bounced back since then. Yeah. They have bounced. Yeah, but it's bounced, they, they yeah. got belted by yeah. North still. That's mm. still in my mind. Fair enough. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. I just it's going to be a bloody great game, and yeah. I cannot <laughs> wait to watch it for the footy purists. Footy. Footy. Yes. Let's Adelaide go. by two goals. I've got Adelaide by fourteen. Again, I'm just decided to go against you. Really? I, I'm not even trying to go against you guys, <laughs> but uh, Brisbane. By five, I think it's going to be really close. Wow. I think at home, I know they were really bad in the first round, but at home, they hardly ever lose at home. They beat Adelaide both times last year. Obviously really close, but I'm going Brisbane. Yeah, I'm questioning that. I could, this is going to be a fun tipping round, I think, mm. to follow. And Hatcher, I just took what you said very personally, Stats mm. guy. And right. love you. Big fan. <laughs> Let's so get mine, final course. game of the weekend. This one's a bit harder to talk about. Port Adelaide taking on Carlton because Carlton play Wednesday night. Port Adelaide have played on Tuesday. So we don't know how the teams are going to line up here. So it's very hard to go through a bit of a preview when, you know, Carlton could, something could go drastically wrong in tonight's game. We hope it doesn't, nah, of course, but right. we never know. Last time these two played, it was a draw between the two teams. This is in Adelaide. So that for me, straight away, the lean is to Port. I think they showed enough in the last quarter on Tuesday night to show that, okay, at home against Carlton, they can get the job done. And Carlton have got to play North Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's going to suck. Yeah. 
They're going to be beat up after what? that game. They're going to get on a plane on Friday yeah. and go to Adelaide. And be like, oh, my God. Yeah. They might have a few changes, yeah. possibly, we'll see you, after that one. You but might, we'll you, see you. You're throwing rotation through when they're putting their best squad out against North Melbourne. Mm. Probably not good when you go to Adelaide. Again, very hard to talk about when we don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think – I know we've talked up Tico. Didn't get a goal last game, but I think yep. uh, she'll bounce back and kick a few goals. Orton was pretty good last Orton, night, too. Orton, goals, yeah. Goody. Yep. Uh, you Player play in the on midfield. The ball. Yes. Yeah. Get her in the midfield. Um, and I think that, yeah, her and Horton, and, yeah, I think they'll um, – They'll they'll come close to destroying Carlton, I reckon. Ooh. Yeah, destroying in uh, what sort of margin? Five goals is a destroying in WA. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. so. About Ooh. five goals. Really? Yeah. Right. Down twenty. I reckon twenty goals. <laughs> twenty points. <laughs> I'll actually agree with you guys on yeah. one tip. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go Port, but by just ten points. I yeah, think it's going to be pretty close. All right, big call for the weekend ahead. It is an absolutely massive weekend ahead. Our big call. I don't survive the weekend. Because Sydney is playing in the men's AFL game final. <laughs> Big call. I'll be hosting the show on my yeah, own. Yeah, well, we'll be here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've, we'll be if here. You me, but you, uh, got, you, got, you want to be already, in. I've already uh, – the problem is I have Polly from True Blood's coming in to do the show on Monday. So as hungover as Polly will be, I'll have to be here There you as go. Well. You'll be here then. We you have can guest. do it hungover. Oh, yeah, I can. But yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be for, absolutely – yeah, just, Are you going to shave before then? Yeah, no, I'm shaving tonight. <laughs> yeah, oh, great. Oh, I'm, I'm trying, yeah, I'm, it's a timing thing. I'm also going to dinner with my what lovely a, partner tonight. So. Great. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, Anniversary dinner? No, this is just a date night. Cute. Where yeah. are you going? Somewhere in Carlton. I'm not saying where. Oh. <laughs> just like all these people. Do you get stalkers? Following. No. Wait, I'm going on Thursday. So <laughs> this is going out Thursday, so it doesn't matter. I can't remember what it's called. Well, they don't need to know but when It's you're like going some out. pizza and pasta place that that I I looked up myself and I was like, oh, this is where we're going. She's like, that's really good. I'm like, nailed it. <laughs> Johnny, Sam, and what's him McCall? Yeah, the sushi that's mango. really good. Sushi yeah, mango the sushi guys. mango guys. guys. Yeah, go there. That's it's, another it's, podcast. It's we're going to review a live on street. Uh, <laughs> next podcast, whatever. Do. My big, big calls. My big call is Adelaide stamp themselves as flag favourites. Ooh, hmm. don't mind that. Yeah, hmm. I think they definitely can. I'm going. Uh, Bryony talked about it before. Haley Miller. I think she's going to get 15 disposals, two goals. Going to play a bit more forward, but she's been kicking goals from the midfield. She also had two goals last time she played against the Saints. Mm. So she's going to have to step up with no Ty and no O'Sullivan, and then Freya going to win. So a few little big calls. Uh, few little, little big, big calls. Little few big, big calls, calls in one that's, there. Yeah. That feels very stats. Guy, I meant to say a few calls. big calls in one there. Yeah. Um, my big call. I think I'm going to stick with um, Port Adelaide. Are going to absolutely dominate Carlton. Ooh. Okay. That's yeah, that's a big call because coming mm. above them on the ladder. Mm. Nice. Keep an eye on all the footy on Friday. <laughs> just keep an eye on it. What, what are you doing on Friday? Watch the footy. Yeah. What are you doing? Watch the footy. <laughs> just watch the footy. Just shut up. Watch the footy. And Sunday and yeah. Thursday and, every day. And Sunday as well. Uh, also keep an eye on the game of the season so far. That's going to be absolutely awesome. Yep. Uh, seeing how Collingwood or Gold Coast, one of them's going to win a game. <laughs> Hopefully. If it's a draw. Imagine yeah. if it's a draw and they both stop. don't get it. Stop. Can we, can we, That'll be I should have so tipped the draw. Good. That'd be so That funny. is a stats guy tip. Uh, oh, I should have tipped the draw. So you could do the absolute circle of Melbourne on Friday if you were really keen. Watch the first three quarters at um <laughs> at Swinburne Centre, then drive to Windy Hill, then go all the way down to Moorabbin and across to Footscray. They Honestly, really, they're all pretty close, but the Moorabbin one is a bit really of an outlier. They haven't really done like the proper circuit. Like, the first game should have been at Moorabbin, then you come into the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how many people are doing, doing that? No, nobody's doing the full circle, man. Alex, I, I think uh, you should. Also, for, I can tell you guys socials. are north siders because Moorabbin isn't that far away. Well, for me, that is very far <laughs> away. From yeah. my house, Moorabbin is 49 minutes <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, same probably. Yeah, yeah, but Carlton is an hour away from my house. Oh, there you yeah. go. It's great. There's going to be a lot of stalking going on here. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but make... where do we all live? <laughs> Somewhere north. Sta stats guy lives at his parents' house. Oh, wherever yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do you live at your parents' house? Yeah, yeah. That's another podcast. That's another podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's been every- What are you? 26. No, I was 20. I'm not 20. Yeah, yeah, so this is great. This is on the How show. How has this just gone on the show? <laughs> Let, let me live my life. Get rid of your mustache so I can just have a go. With uh, it. It, the, the mustache, my mustache is stained. No, Thank so, you yeah, very much. The mustache was voted on by my co-workers as stained. So there was a, there there was a company-wide vote. Yeah, that's true. And the mustache And I stayed. said it should stay, but now I'm learning towards the other one. Coward. <laughs> anyway, before we get completely off the tracks, that'll do AFLW today for, well, today. Uh, thanks to Brownie and the Stats Guy for jumping on. Woo. Thank you. Let's go. We'll be back Monday to review week five. I can't tell you what state I'm going to be in. That is very dependent on what happens when the siren blows at about 5.40 on Friday on Saturday afternoon. If you're a Witten Oval, get around it. Come say day because there's going to be a bunch of Swans fans yep. there. Chip reviews, we're going to have a good time. I'll figure out what we're going to do there. But anyway, remember to smash a like across all the socials. See us doing a bunch of fun stuff throughout the footy season. 
because it doesn't end on Saturday. It keeps going till the end of November. It's awesome. Get around Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, threads, all that good stuff. AFLW today for all of our social medias, but AFL today for YouTube. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Please get in the comments. We'll start getting back to you in the comments as well, as well as the podcast platform's five-star review. Maybe you're happy that Stats Guy's a guest. Maybe, well, you can't see Bryony's jacket if you're listening on the podcast, but watch it on YouTube. Like the jacket. Yeah, anyway, watch yeah. on YouTube. Sure it's does good. A lot of work for that. Anyway, get around to all of our other shows Cricket Today, Football Today, NBA Australia, NFL Australia, and Hold All Tickets. That's a lot of plugging. It is a lot of plugging. You, you, did, well. you did well, Kate. Oh, I've just seen it's on a card over here. Yeah, oh, that's I, the thing. I, I'd, yeah. I'd literally <laughs> never seen yeah. that. And yeah. I was like, wow, he does such a good job. And <laughs> no, you're just reading it. So, Bang. Still doing they a good job. They didn't know that, Bryony. Damn it. Get around them. Like I'm going to chips. Yeah, hot chips on mm. Friday night at Whitten Oval. I can't think of anything else off the top of my do head. Do you do a chicken salt? Do you like chicken salt? Yeah, I'm a chicken salt yeah, guy. Me too. But I've got to have the first two chips without putting anything on them. I'm gonna go with what the vendor has given me. You're not judge. a sauce guy though, which is like criminal. No, well, I can't do sauce on chips. Oh, what a, you can have How's sauce. There two people to one against anyway, sauce. On chips? Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you on Monday for more <laughs> AFLW today. Till then, look after yourselves. Enjoy your hot chips however you like them, <laughs> and just remember, footy's back. Footy's back. Woo! Sauce on chips.